This is a part three to the scariest things caught on doorbell cameras. And once again, by the end of the video, you may consider getting one yourself. Nah, this dude works for fucking Ring. He's trying to... This is just a fucking Ring promo. In this footage that a viewer sent me, a person can be seen crouch walking. Turn the lights off. Dude, they always have the same... They always have the same fucking narrator. Something under my chair. Fucking hat. Ugh. Towards his front door through his doorbell camera. The person was wearing a hat, face mask, and sunglasses, allowing none of his face to be seen. Fuck. After trying to open the front door and failing, the person starts to fiddle with the doorbell. Noticing it's a video doorbell, so he probably tries to take it off. I thought they were supposed to like ring and shit. It like goes like dun dun dun, hello. And then it like pops up the app on your phone. What likely happened was that when he realized that he couldn't get the doorbell unmounted without a special screwdriver, he started to hold his hand in front of the camera after ringing the bell. The viewer told me that this happened at 2 in the morning, and so when he heard his doorbell and ring notification go off, he instantly went to his phone to check who was at the door, only to see exactly what you're seeing. The man then walks past the doorbell to the side of the house, and by this point, the homeowner was on the phone with 911 reporting the incident. While on the phone with 911, the homeowner heard the doorknob to the side entrance door being fiddled with, and this was a door that he had been known to leave unlocked accidentally from time to time. However, luckily on this night, that wasn't the case. Since the intruder couldn't simply walk in through either door, he started to say hello repeatedly through the door, in an off-putting tone that sounded so overly friendly that it was creepy. The 911 operator told the homeowner not to open the door or to even acknowledge the person. The person would then start to bang on the door for a few moments until seemingly giving up. The police showed up but couldn't help out much based on the video. Later that night, the homeowner received another notification that there was movement at his front door. When he checked the video feed, he couldn't see anyone. He still has no idea who was under that mask and glasses. It's a fucking nerd. This who the fuck commits a crime in a COVID mask? Camera at their old house, which is still active while he tries to sell it. One morning at around 4.30 a.m., his cameras detected a man running from across the street from his neighbor's home, across his front yard, and up to his front door. The man was naked, with one of his hands blocking his privates. What the fuck? Is that a skinwalker? The footage was caught from two angles. He was arrested a short while later by local police, and was apparently high on crystal meth. And he had removed his clothing due to a fear of snakes being inside of his clothes. And he was running around the neighborhood knocking on doors and ringing doorbells yelling for help. Oh, that's valid. The neighborhood valid. is reportedly pretty quiet. That's valid. The homeowner never had any sort of issues before this. In his words, he ran up my front yard, onto my front porch, and rang the doorbell. Whoa. For the next minute or so, he... Oh, that's scary. He, he rang my doorbell. <sighs> ...was ringing the doorbell and knocking while pacing back and forth. He looked panicked, and his expression drifted from someone in pain to a look of pure crazy, and at one point, said he needs help. After that, he ran off back into the night. The guy was picked up by an officer around 5 a.m. not far from his house. And this footage is why you always check Guys, who's at Guys, stay for number for one. Door. It's going to be scary. Especially if you have a doorbell camera. If someone who you don't know shows up to your door late at night, don't open it. Unfortunately, in this video, that's exactly what this homeowner did. Around 10 p.m. one night, a suspicious-looking hooded man approaches the front door of a random house rather quickly and aggressively. Uh -oh. and he right away tries to open the door. After realizing it's locked, he goes to ring the doorbell. Disappointingly, the homeowner opens the door rather quickly instead of checking who's at his door at this hour first. Is that Kanye? Looks like Kanye. Oh hell no, that is the craziest shit you could fucking do to someone. I would deck the shit out of you. Walking in with the handshake, who the fuck are you? Oh hell no. 
Come on, where are you going? What's the stairs? Goodbye, you. The homeowner was likely too trusting a person, which put him in danger. Even his initial hi to the stranger at his door sounded overly friendly, considering the man was already creeping in the second the door was opened. Hello. The homeowner pushes the man out, causing him to punch the glass of the door before it's even fully closed. The man then stands there for another minute or so, fiddling with the doorknob a few times, though the rest of the footage is cut off. The dialogue is near impossible to completely make out, but it seemed the man was under the influence of drugs or alcohol, and was likely attempting to burglarize the home. The homeowner called the police, Dude. the man was gone by the time they arrived. It's unknown if he was found. It takes more effort to go steal shit than it does to like make money and go this buy it. This was posted from the owner of a ring camera and a Facebook group to caution others. The woman warned in her post to beware a strange man wearing a white mask lurking around the neighborhood after her camera caught him trying to look into her home a little after 10 p.m. one night. The woman said, I just want my neighbors to be aware and safe. Please, if possible, share this post. Screenshots are welcome. Not sure what colors he was wearing, but had a hoodie and jeans on. The disturbing picture shows the man in the mask looking directly into the Guys, camera. Guys, this isn't even scary. This is exactly the type of image that you'd never want or expect to see come up on your door. I mean, if it happened to you, it'd be scary. But it's also the kind of image that would make you sure as hell grateful that you had one. Neighbors of the woman also reported seeing the man walking around and approached their front doors. Thankfully, no one opened the door to him. On May 1st, 2020, around 9.40 p.m., around the beginning of the COVID lockdown, a 45-year-old dad, Raymond Hawkins, opened the door to who he believed to be a delivery driver dropping off a parcel. Due to new methods of delivery at the time because of COVID, the alleged delivery driver backed away from the front door to supposedly keep his distance and claimed he needed to take a picture of the package at the doorstep, something many delivery drivers must do for more expensive packages. At this time, the father had his guard down due to the fact that he had nah, no this idea dude the man in front of him wasn't a delivery driver, and that he was in fact part of a gang that was about to storm into his house, <laughs> all of whom armed with knives. Yo! Yo! Oh shit! Damn! They for real executed that shit. That's the COVID method. It's patched now. Aw. The screaming is sad. He's got Larry. They got a hostage. Good shit. Christopher Sargent, the fake delivery driver, lunges at Raymond with a knife and attacks him when he goes to pick up the package, while three other masked men follow from behind. Muffled cries come from the house. Wait, they don't have guns in the UK? His wife and the robbers. They don't have guns, so does that why everyone has a knife? Before being seen fleeing the house with thousands of dollars worth of items. Raymond and his son really? suffered non-life-threatening injuries, while his sons were described to be worse. That's weird. Two of the culprits would be arrested. Anthony Lascelles and Christopher Sargent were both charged with aggravated burglary and possession of a knife. The other two culprits were never found. One thing that can be learned from a lot of these videos is that some people... How did they sell this? I think they entered, they all entered in the same, they didn't spread out, you know? That's what it was. Like, it sounded like there was two people in the house. There's four of you, bro. How do you sell that? We'll go to crazy lengths to trick other people. The major red flag in this case was that the supposed delivery was taking place at 9.40 p.m., which is way past the time any notable delivery company will deliver packages, usually the latest being 7 p.m. On April 10th, 2020, this was the footage taken by the ring doorbell of a viewer's friend Kayla in a small California town. Kayla was being stalked by her crazy former friend Thomas who became obsessed with her over time and would constantly express his alleged love for her despite her telling him numerous times that she didn't feel the same way. The week that this footage was taken, Kayla was bombarded with texts and voicemails from Thomas. 
And as you can see, if you care to pause the video and read some. Wait, let me. What does this say? And I'm sorry this upset you. I genuinely hope you have a good day. All right. What does it say now? Well, the text. It starts with what seems to be Kalex. Okay, I'm glad you see yourself again. Oh my God. Accepting his apology. Do you guys want me to read this? For his behavior. Acting like you're not illiterate. I'm not However, illiterate. As the texts and voicemails just keep coming in, she begins to realize how crazy he may be. What you're about to hear are some audio clips from different voicemails he's left on her phone after she had stopped answering him. Hey, Kayla. Uh, listen, I just, I want to make sure you're not too worried about what happened at the party last week. Sounds like I a fucking nerd on and siege. I think, God, I think you're goddamn beautiful. And I, I, I... He sounds like this dude. You're not going to know this. But he sounds like uh this fucking stock trader on um Twitter Spaces named Starboy999. I I'm sorry I got so sick. I wanted to come be with you while you were getting ready and I was just so totally out of it and I'm sorry. God, I think I might love you and I'm sorry and I I'm going to give you some space. I want to be there for you and be there for you. And you're I fucking you crazy, dude. And I want to be there for you. You're right, you're right. God damn it. So fucking god damn it. And all I can do is think of you and want to be with you. And I want to be with you. I want to be your Flynn Rider and I want to be everything to you. God damn it, baby. Focus on yourself, bro. You are amazing. You are amazing. You're my knight in shining armor. And I'm so fucking Shut terrified. Shut up. Oh my god. god. He brought alcohol. He thought he he swore he was coming over. Love you so much. He brought drinks. <laughs> so much. Please call me back. No, I lied. I'm not gonna give you some space. I'm sorry. I'm coming over. I know you're up and thinking about me. I'm sorry. I'm I'm talking. God, I'm not sorry. God, I'm coming over. Fucking, I'm already driving. I'm driving driving the whole time. God damn it. God damn it. I'm coming over. <laughs> Why is he keep saying? Th <laughs> uh, you know, I'm not gonna give you space. I know you called me back. I saw that. Yep. I know you're up thinking about me. God, God, God damn it! Oh, God damn it! I'm coming over. One way or another, I'm coming over. I'm talking, whatever, however, whatever. God, I'm coming over. I'll see ya. I'll be there in like ten minutes or whatever. I'm in whatever. I'll come over right now. Damn it! I'll see ya. Bye. I love you. Rough road, oh, it's a rough road. Fuck you, Kayla. I, I am fucking crazy, goddammit. Fuck you. I'll drive into the field. Goddammit. Things like that, huh? Fuck you. Fuck you, Kayla. I am goddamn crazy. I'm Crashing crazy. out. Goddammit. I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it for you. I am crazy. This motherfucker is a villain. Anything for you. Anything for you. I'll settle. I'm going to sell. My phone is dying anyway. Uh, He's going through every anyway. stage. I'm going to drive by your house in front of the night, though. And I dare you not to have your blinds open to check. I'm crazy. Maybe you'll never know if I did it. I'll do it. I'll do it. The footage of him showing up to Kayla's house was right after one of his phone calls saying he's coming over. Even though it was clear by this point she wanted Of course he got an Android. Eventually. Oh, we, we should have known from the Rock green text. Find out that Thomas was, oh, wasn't even his real name. His real name is Matthew. He'd been using the fake name Thomas Castle, which was a reference to the Marvel character The Punisher. Thomas was a reference to Thomas Jane, the second actor to play the Punisher, and Castle was a reference to Frank Castle, the Punisher's last name. Seems a fucking dork. The fact alone that he had been using a fake name with his friend and supposed love of his life was already a huge red flag, and maybe a sign that he was hiding something in his life. The ring footage was taken at 2 in the morning, and after leaving, he would go on to send some more texts, which would progressively get angrier. Four days after this footage was taken, Kayla and her friend went to the police and filed for a restraining order. He left her alone about a month or so after the restraining order was put into place. 
Kayla blocked his number and blocked him on social media, and reportedly he basically disappeared from the world, and no one knows where he is now. We need an update on the Punisher. Whoa, how did they make it do this? Spooky. Look, it's like flashing. Is this Daniel Larson?